On this chilly Tuesday night, here's what we're tracking. Some gradual clearing taking place during the overnight hours. I just checked outside just a moment ago and it's still mostly cloudy, so it's going to be a little while before we start to get some breaks in the clouds. But if you're up really late tonight, you'll start to see some breaks in the clouds and it'll gradually clear. Then windy and colder that'll happen through the overnight hours as a cold front moves in and drapes its way across the uh, uh, my Fox 10 viewing area and then it really gets cold and the breeze picks up too. And so then we have some wintry precipitation coming in this weekend and I think it's going to come in a couple of uh, phases here. So we'll talk about that in a moment. Right now, I think the overnight low is probably going to drop down to the single digits down to around four degrees for the overnight low. So it's going to be cold. Typically an average overnight low this time of year should be about 22 degrees. So it's right now. The temperature right now is what you would normally expect for the overnight low. So we're way off the marks. 21 degrees right now in Terre Haute. Casey has 20, uh, Robinson 27, Vincennes 24, and Rockville 19 degrees. And the breeze is picking up as well. The wind is picking up a little bit as this colder air comes in. Paris has a 15 mile per hour wind, Mattoon 17, Effingham 14, and down in Robinson, a 12 mile per hour wind. And so as this colder, somewhat heavier air rolls in, we're going to pick up the wind a little bit. And of course, that means the wind chill is going to drop into the single digits. Seven in Paris, 11 in Casey, and uh, nine in Mattoon. And so we have a wind chill factor to be concerned about if you're going to be out tonight and you need to dress properly if you're going to go out late tonight or early tomorrow morning. So here's a look at the clouds and the radar. You can see how the sky is clearing somewhat and there's a front right up in through here. And so if we look at the Storm Team 10 future cast, we can see that through the nighttime till about oh, two o'clock in the morning, this front will go through and that's when the wind will pick up. It'll start to sound kind of windy outside and then the wind is not going to change direction, but some colder air will come in after that and that's when we'll start to clear the sky out somewhat. Tomorrow morning, meteorologist Lindsay Monroe will be back in here and she'll be talking about a sunny day tomorrow, but it's going to struggle to reach up into the upper teens tomorrow. And then we get into 6 p.m. tomorrow night, a clear sky tomorrow night, and again an overnight low tomorrow night dropping down into the single digits as well. So four, gradual clearing, windy and colder tonight, an overnight low again of four, sunny and cold tomorrow, a high tomorrow of 18. And then for tomorrow night, clear and very cold, a gusty southwest wind, so the wind changes direction a little bit tomorrow night down to seven. And then on Thursday, we get up to 12 degrees, only 12 degrees for high on Thursday. My goodness. And then uh, Friday, clouds a little bit warmer on Friday, high of 27. And then by Friday night, maybe a chance of snow developing. I think we'll have some snow on Friday night. That's not going to be the big snow. And then on Saturday night, snow starts up again. And then it snows on Saturday night into Sunday. And the temperature is just such, Patrice, that we could have a mix of snow. And depending on the track of the storm, we might mix up with a little sleet or freezing rain or some kind of, a, you know, nothing is, you know, Nothing good. Yeah.